All right, let's go up against Jason. Um, I think Jason's been playing just Curse Warlock, uh, but I might double check. Yeah, they're just playing Curse of the Warlock um, with the Curse of Agony package. Okay, so Wild Spirits is a fine keep. It's pretty annoying for them to deal with. No one drop or two drop is fine. We're gonna draw into one, right? Always. How many 12 wins did you get? I only got one. I did co-op with people. And, uh, in those co-ops, I had two people get the 12. One of those was Meowth that we did, uh, on stream. Over on his channel, along with Ruffle. Um, so Meowth got 12. And there was someone else, I think, that I co-op to a 12 as well. But yeah, just the one 12 for me, you know? I had a lot of 10s. I think I had, like, four or five 10s. <laughs> um, hey, what's up, Lion? Hi, babe. Hello. Wow, coin rat, damn. Okay, that doesn't work out too badly. I probably only need to make one trade. Um, the argument for two trade is that they can actually trade defile. I guess I can always double trade. Um, I guess like drain soul is another reason to as well. So I guess it makes sense to double trade there. It does. Uh, it does make like trade touch better for them. Like I gave up a one one for no reason. So, Wild Spirits. I can trade to play around uh, Touch again. If they had Touch, they probably would have used it there. Rather than tapping. So, I think we can just do this. Um, that's also called boosting Meowth. <laughs> uh, you know, we we all had our moments in that co-op. I think I, I made plenty of dumb suggestions. Oh, so they did have the Touch. There was that one time though Meowth didn't listen to me about the spammy Arcanist. Alright, does trading play around nope. spammy? Oh. oh. Oh, it does play around spammy. Fuck! You're right. <sighs> Meowth? What is spammy Arcanist? I'm, 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 no! I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, this hand is like... Not good. Well, this is not good situation. The double dirty rat has kind of just gutted me. Bit spooky. I'm seven. Uh... I think I just like sit like this, but man, this is not great. But yeah, not not a ton of twelve wins for me, you know. I think I still came out all right, you know. I, I probably averaged maybe seven wins. So it wasn't wasn't too too much of a disaster. <laughs> Alright, the Hydrolodon is good, but um maybe we're not gonna be able to play it. Hmm. You better watch your step. <laughs> if you had been online, you would have elbowed your way into the call. Uh, I mean we did an evolve shaman run without you, Lion. I'm not sure if it's meant to be freezing trap or like what are we going for here? Like, they, they could just, like, not play into the freezing trap, and then it's, like, it's not doing very much. So I think it's probably ice. I suppose we can freezing now. <clears throat> we'll, we'll have to see. I don't know. If they don't trade, then I'm kind of, uh, in a little bit of trouble. Uh, by the way, Corp, I have to point out that the mini set is themed around legal system. So it might make sense to have a lawyer on the podcast? That does make sense. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll ask. The, um... I haven't looked at any of the mini set stuff, though. Because it all went live, and I didn't really check. I just saw a couple of the cards that came out. I didn't even realize it was, like, legal-themed. In fact, I don't actually remember what the name of it is. Chat, help me out. <laughs> what is the name of the mini set? Also, I did get the date right though on the podcast. Speaking of the podcast, I, I did I did hint. I did suggest that it would be out on the twenty seventh. Based on absolutely no real logical reasoning, just completely guessing. Um man, this is like a disaster for me. More and disorder. Ah, law and order pun. I get it now. Huffer it? You think I'm that skilled? Should have, uh, should have guessed I was not that skilled. Um, okay. Do we think they took spell? 
We can be optimistic like that, right? Kind of just want to sit, which is sort of a bit embarrassing. How much wild are you playing these days, Hyperin? You staying clean? Ooh. 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 Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I mean, that dies. Okay, we're in business. Uh, Mule's actually, like, really good. Hey, is this winnable? Um, Springpaw's dealing a ton of damage at this point. So if I could just find one of those, that could be quite good. Okay, um, maybe it's not the end of the world. To just not let the 3-4 value trade. They're probably going to make the 3-4 go to back to hand anyway. So... I guess it's not really relevant. Uh, man, we have to get rid of that emote, chat. Look, how am I going to be able to put anything on YouTube? <laughs> you know, knowing that this kind of depraved action is taking place in my Twitch chat. Haven't heard of me. <laughs> Alright, Tamsin. So they do end up having a double trade. The Leoc lives. Um, winnable? Perhaps? If we roll Leoc, it could actually be quite quite winnable. <laughs> I'm a mobile, so I didn't realize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mobile like, Twitch experience is very different from the non mobile Twitch experience. Um, Alright, so we have four damage, four damage, two damage. Harpoon gun. Are we just a crackling high roller? We might be. Or I can like hear power and that's also like a really good high roll. Alright, so we low rolled. Good for us, good for us. Um, Alright, trade here. Alright, change of plans. Do we just go for the hydrolid on lethal out next turn? This turn we just do like wild spirits, or we can just play an Ultimo. This just seems pretty good. <clears throat> Where Hoffa? I don't know. He went on holiday. Also, he's not named Hoffa. He's named um <laughs> something else that I can't remember. I'm 15 and 12 learning Pillager. Dude, I solved the sick lethal puzzle on Twitter yesterday for Pillager. And I was so proud of myself. And then I found out the solution had been posted the hour before. And so people probably thought that I was uh, cheating. It's Margot. Okay, okay, it's Margot. It's Margot. Alright? I didn't mean to offend. I saw that, saw the paragraph, didn't read. Nice. I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out the lethal. It was embarrassing, to be honest. Is Altimore bait? I, I like Altimore. Personally. Noobs. Uh, maybe. Wait, do I win now? Did the Gigafin actually just, like, give me the win? <gasps> How much damage is this? Is it enough? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, suggest that this is probably enough. Man. What a good start. Look at that. Get him with the honorable kill as well. Perfect. It is kind of funny that you can like, look at a picture and it's like, oh, it's so obvious. You just coin, coin, scabs, 10 with the scab, scabs, mailbox, potion, mailbox, coin, coin, step the 10 with you, shadow step 10, one scab, scab, scabs, pillager, use potion 10, one pillager, pillager. And it's like, I miss Yeti on four. But the reason I was kind of interested in this is um, I, saw a, I saw a post later where Soda, HS Soda, a uh, Chinese player, they, they posted this thread and this video replay of the lethal. And you can see this program load up. Right? Like they're they're in this they're in the game. 
this program loads up, they refresh, and then the program gives step-by-step -step instructions. It looks at the board state, looks at what's in hand, and it gives step-by-step -step instructions on how to lethal. It was posted on the 20th by Glow Magic. I saw someone develop a pillage bro calculator. It's incredible. And it is incredible. There's the uh, GitHub. Gith, Gith or Git? I always say GitHub. But maybe it's meant to be GitHub. <laughs> this is the, uh, the second coming of GIF versus GIF for me. Um, but yeah, I, I flagged it to some of the devs, so I'm kind of interested what the response is, because you can probably make the argument that it shouldn't be bannable. I, I don't know, it's very, uh, it's very tricky, because you can't police it really either, you know, unless there's uh, a way to detect it, but it's probably not detectable. Um, so I'm very interested to see what the, uh, if the team publicly mentions it, or if they just try and keep it on the quiet, which I would also understand. But, uh, yeah, it should be interesting. Alright, double overwhelm. Just give me something good instead. I probably just wild spirits. Holy player tip. <laughs> I mean, tempo Hydra into the, like, Tundra waiting on the back end is pretty brutal. Isn't it in English? It's currently just in Chinese, I believe. Now, I'm not like a programmer or anything, so uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if you can, like, easily make an English version. Um, but it is cr pretty crazy, right? It's, it's, uh, it's going one step beyond Deck Tracker, obviously. So I guess I just Hydra, and if they don't kill it, they die? If they play minions, they die? I don't know, this seems fine. <laughs> So, but at the same time, you can make the uh, the argument that it's not really doing anything different than deck tracker because it can all be used by pencil and pen and yada yada yada, um, pen and paper. But I guess it's a bit different because it's giving you step by step instructions of how to play. I know that there was a uh, there was like something similar for battlegrounds, wasn't there? Also out of the Chinese server, where there was a there was an app for battlegrounds that told you what the highest percentage win play was like each turn. It defeats the point of the game. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely agree about that. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm never going to argue that it's, like, a, a good thing. Um. Are you dead, sir? Wow. <laughs> you know, truly a, uh, truly a skill difference. Alright, up against blood. One, three, six, six. I guess I'll just keep the boozard. Out of cards has them on the same page with separate links for each reveal. Uh, out of cards. Out of cards. Oh my god, we actually got a Reno Priest. With the bird in hand. Well, double, double buzzer, that's pretty good. Weird Reno list? Oh, it's not even Shadow. Oh. Hmm. Spooky. The greatest list of all time. You can trust me. I'll piss off. Righto. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong, the greediest list of all time. Um, okay. I kinda want a coin tundra rider. It seems really dumb. Just get divine shield, it's easy. Alright, Wind Fury is fine. Get him! That's just the beginning? <laughs> oh no. Maybe they forgot to include removal. Uh, dude, my betrayal positioning? Hmm. But it's fine, because Lightning Storm. Um, but you know, apart from that, we're fine. Uh, I 
guess I can do one blizzard. And just do this. It's very embarrassing. Look away. Don't watch me. But, um, I don't know. It kind of gets rid of the board. They're overloaded for four. Maybe they don't have, like, a way to deal with the buzzard. If they don't have any removal for the buzzard. Damn it. I think we lost. I think you'll get banned if I win. How about that? Only ever seen that card in quest lists? Uh, I haven't seen that card in standard. Hey, in wild. I don't know. I haven't seen it at all. Man, a lot of people wanted to get banned, huh? <laughs> alright, alright. That's what you guys want. Well, this didn't go very well. It's actually kind of fine, right? Like, I played a 7 drop, they played a 7 removal. They get some tempo back, but... It's probably not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna stew on that for a second. Okay. More Copium. Bro, they, they are at 21, and I have a fully infused Altimore, and a Tundra Rhino, and a Buzzard in hand. I, I don't even understand how someone could look at this and be like, GG! Is the Curator the Nuts? Uh, I mean, you have a few Murlocs. What are the dragons that you even get? Oh, you said a Nixia, right? So it's like a Nixia, some random Murloc Colossal? DQA? Oh, I guess DQA. Yeah, maybe that's like the second dragon. Because you would always want two of each kind, right? Like, I don't know if you can get away with just playing one. Otherwise, the curator is just, like, abysmal. Also, dude, the curator? <laughs> I kind of, like, mentally glossed over that. Like, I know you guys said it was greedy, but... Maybe you overprepared me. I've got plenty uh, of they lose the attack on this, so... Oh, oh, they almost... Why didn't you just like Zeph into Flame Strike? Huh? Quickly. I guess like Wind Fury is more damage. Um, I probably should have just put Buzzard in, actually. That was kind of dumb. Alright, you're all getting banned. Yoss Lock, you're muted for 10 minutes. Nameless, you're muted for 10 minutes. Nunzid, you're a VIP for 10 minutes. Together. They were playing Rogue, but they were secretly... Playing Miracle Rogue. Okay. Um, so how do I beat Miracle Rogue? Chat, this is not a, like, rhetorical question. Um, I actually need help here. How do, how do I, how do I beat Miracle Rogue? Harpoon Gun on three? Easy. Isn't there an Aussie kicker in the NFL? Um, I guess so. I don't know. I don't really follow. I don't really follow NFL, but I'm not sure. Um, it's Face Hunter? Corp doesn't listen to me? Did he swap? Well, I played him on Miracle Rogue, like, 30 minutes ago. Unfortunately, Hyper and never wrong. <laughs> I'm going to the AFL as a player tomorrow. I don't know what it is, but I'm a player in the AFL. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Good for you. Oh, two minutes ago. Guys, do we beat 40 card Reno Renathal Face Hunter? Me, uh, me thinks not. <laughs> Shit. 
Surely Meowth is going to watch the AFL. Surely. Meowth loves sports. I do lo love that you renamed the uh, beta mode to Hyperin. I mean, I didn't even do that. I don't know who did that. Was that a was that a bad player initiative? I guess it wasn't you. I'm gonna have to start. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start capitalizing Hyperin. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to get rid of that emo. You know, it's a bit much. It's deeply, deeply disturbing. Nops is translating the calculator. Yeah, I, I said that. Then I started. Then I cut myself off. Um. But yeah, it seems like the pillager calculator might be in English very, very soon. Please don't hit explosive. Oh. Uh, sure. Huh. No. What if I stealth it and don't attack? Nah, I always do this. Also, five head idea. I can overwhelm to play into both cat trick and rat trap and pressure plate, but give myself the tiniest chance of having a slightly better turn if it's ice trap. Not convinced? Okay. Hey cuties. Chad, he's talking to you. Say hi, don't be rude. Okay. Um... Oh, it was cat. Okay. Face? I guess I go face here. Okay. Okay, upside, they're kind of dying. That's exciting. Surely they don't have Reno Jackson, a one-off card in a 40-card singleton deck. <laughs> oh man, what a uh, what a what a fanciful idea, you know? Oh, absolutely ridiculous if they had it. Why would I even um suggest such a ludicrous thing on turn six? Oh. Oh. Uh, are you real? Really? But why? You're gonna get off an Ancient of War Guardian, seven mana Guardian. Is that the move? Okay. If you play seven mana Guardian next turn, you do die. I, I hope you know that. I hope you know that together. I hope you're prepared. Come on, play that taunt. Wait. I'm gonna throw up. Ew! Wait, that seems really good, actually. I guess if you play it with the Dread Scale... Dude, does this actually make sense now? That's a hell of a board swing. Wait, what if you play this with Double Bloom in Beast Hunter? Maybe that's actually good. No creature to be um, I'm gonna have to force my way through this tool. <laughs> um... Yeah. Shit, shit. I mean, I have lethal with like a lot of draws. There's like a lot of draws that are lethal. This one eating party snacks. <laughs> you know, overwhelm, alley cat. Did we not buff the taunt? Oh, I guess it's because you think it's gonna die anyway. It's like half the deck is lethal. Good enough, sir, good enough. Man, you just couldn't help it. You couldn't help not buff the taunt, huh? <laughs> 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 
Thank you very much together, both for the win and opening my eyes about the Gargon technology.